name is Erdo Swell, and today we're going to be going over something new, as well as recapping on what actually happened for me to be out for so long. So before we get into it, let me go over what happened. So, for those of you who don't know or live under a rock, I've been out for at least eight, nine months, something like that. It's been a while since we've done the last devlog, and the reason why I have been out is because of personal issues that are quite serious. In fact, I cannot disclose them here because of safety reasons. However, just know that there were some very dark times, and we are hopefully past that, me and my family. Anyways, um, let's get into what we need to go over, shall we? So, as you can see on screen, this is Conquest Mode. Now you're wondering, wait a minute, isn't it just supposed to be Standard, Lifeline, and Classic? Well, there was. However, if you haven't seen it on Twitter, and I'll link it in the description, unfortunately, there was a serious issue where Standard had a lot of problems to the point where we had to scrap it. I know. This is the second time it has happened to anything named Standard. But hopefully this time when we do a new mode called Conquest, things will be much clearer and you'll still get the respawns that you want out of it. Anyways, let's move on to the next slide. So for this one, you're going to need to know some terms before we get started. And those terms are as follows. You have the spawn route and checkpoint. Now, what is a spawn route? Well, basically, it's what drives Conquest's main objective. It's basically a route with lots of spawns. Usually they are ranged from having your name on it or your team's name on it, all the way down to being neutral or capturable. I think neutral would be a better term because of the fact that capturable means that it's neutral. It's the same thing, just a different way of saying it. Now, these spawns are lost the minute the next turn is captured, and that is checkpoint. A checkpoint is basically the flag that controls those spawns. Once you can capture and control that checkpoint, you control all of the spawns there. They turn into your spawn. So that's very important to know. You will see it eventually on the... Um, list that you would usually see in Classic and formerly Standard. And uh, yeah, anyways, let's move on to the next slide. Main objective should be to capture all five checkpoints along the given spawn route. That means you've got to go full Scorched Earth and capture everything. And um, that and how this will be balanced, as well as performed and carried out, will be detailed soon. But, what I want to say about the objective, oh, and uh, if you hear any noise, forget that the noise exists. That's just my mom uh, cleaning up the dishes. I know, I should be helping her. <laughs> but, gotta get this video done, because if I don't, I'll be breaking my promise. But, Basically, the checkpoints, when you capture them, the main, how this relates to the main objective, or what this means for this mode, is that Conquest, it is more inspired by other past attempts at pieces of modes or modes themselves than it ever was. Standard was just standard. There was nothing good about it. And that was my mistake. 
trying to bring back something that was supposed to be dead a long time ago. As a mode. Now, Conquest is different because it's inspired heavily by a lot of things. Such as the Nemesis Hunt. Itineraries return, but in a slightly different way. Checkpoints are inspired by Project Reality and Operation Hush Doorstop. Um, specifically how spawns around the flag in OHD are dealt with. They're inspired by the old capturable spawn concept that we had earlier. So many things. And excuse me if I'm having trouble. It's just that my voice is kind of raspy right now. It's hard to keep it together when you throw this stuff around you. But yeah, you get the point. Anyways, we're going to go to the next slide. Okay, everyone. So now I'm going to talk about the main... Well, not the main objective, but like... You'll see in a minute. Balance of power. Now, what do I mean when I say balance of power? Balance of power is basically where you take the power, right? Well, who has what? And you try to keep them at an equal footing. Like, game balancing normally, but in this case, it's based on conquest and the philosophy of this mode. So philosophy is that each side has a chance at taking the entire road or route. The only way they can do it is by capturing and conquering each checkpoint. So how do we do this? And how do we keep it to where it could be a proper replacement slash successor to standard too? Well, this is what this slide is for. Each side has two squads. And yes, I'm serious. Two squads. Not one, two. It's going to be hard to maintain two squads, but there will be an opportunity to really pull it through. So you have a large and a small squad. A large squad is usually like 12 or 10 men, depending on the map. And then the other one is usually two below that. Then each side has one original flag, which is an original spawn point. If you lose five, all five of the neutral points, you also lose that flag as well, ending the game. That's what you should remember. Let's move on to the next slide, shall we? Alright, so... Second Thoughts. Here we have Second Thoughts, which is kind of like FAQs, but different. And three of them are the ones that I can think of right off the bat. First of all... Will the squads be able to retain Lifeline's unit restrictions? Yes, they will. That's a major issue with Standard 2 at the moment, and I am very serious. Standard 2's main weakness is definitely having too many units available at once, especially ones that aren't that great. How will the spawn routes be planned? Just like Nemesis Hunt, but with lessons learned. And yes, I'm using PowerPoint. This is what I usually use for these kinds of things, so... Let's just keep that in mind. Any details on the details? Well, yeah, they'll be covered as soon as they come out or are implanted within the test place. Whether it's a file or it could be online on the cloud. Now, if it's a file, that means that you're having problems. But if it's in the cloud, that means they've updated it. Which will be soon. 
anyways, renovations should start as soon as next week or the end of the week. When I say renovations, I'm talking about overhauling the entire thing. So, with that being said, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, hopefully, we will have a video soon, like I said before. And I'm glad to be back with these videos because I believe it's important to keep abreast, keep in touch with what's going on, and not leave people in the dark. So with that being said, my name is Eridos12, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.